But if a man passes that threshold, it's his own physiological makeup, suddenly sex becomes almost an obsession. So God has given us literally chemical impetus to not forget, to not grow distant from each other. We discovered that you can't change your mate. It's impossible, and yet we all try. I tried for 38 years to change my wife. It never worked, it always ended in some kind of, uh, of argument, but everybody does it. Every conversation that we have that falls flat, that just doesn't seem to materialize in the way that we'd like it to, is the result of one of us feeling threatened. Yeah, emotionally threatened, not physically threatened right. in any way, but somehow, whenever we begin to not feel safe in a conversation, it does right. shut us down. We have to be in unity with each other, and the first place to start is being able to surrender your lives together to the Lord. And that's how we preserve our marriages. That's how we walk the path He has for us. That's how we get to where He wants us to go. And that's how we become who He created us to be. Do my expectations really line up uh, with the truth? For example, if I believe that my wife is supposed to meet my every need, well, I need to question that. Is, is that really true? So here's a husband who's saying to his wife, I love you, you're so beautiful, you're wonderful. He's giving her words of affirmation. But after a while, she's feeling, if you love me, you would do something to help me. Her love language is acts of service. So he's missing her emotionally. And I see great people that instead of just making small changes in their relationship, continually, course corrections all the time. They take their hand off the wheel, get busy with the kids or work or something else, and they start drifting. And now all of a sudden they're almost in the ditch and they think, well, I gotta do something huge. Well, no you don't. Go back to what Jesus said, he who is faithful in a little. The scripture says that the husband is to love his wife as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. You know, that's, that's in stark opposition to the notion that this relationship is primarily about me, about meeting my needs, about getting my wants, when God's design is actually the opposite of that.